Once known for its confectionery and trains, York is now internationally renowned as a hotspot for tourism. Yet, with the last few years seeing the country gripped by a recession, how is the tourist industry of York now coping? The impact of the credit crunch dealt York a damaging blow when the government axed a £6 million grant for cultural attractions. York has also suffered a 5% decrease in business visitor expenditure. Such a period of financial uncertainty could spell trouble for a relatively small city like York, which depends heavily on tourism to support nearly 23,000 jobs. Three years ago there were about six companies, now there's only two. So and that is there's definitely been yeah, an impact. It's just us in Pullman. We, we've noticed a lot of shops have been closing, definitely since the credit crunch came in. So, um, But the, the tourist attractions, um, they've... They've stayed afloat. What I can say about the recession is that the attractions and the hoteliers here in York, as well as all the other accommodation providers and tourism businesses, have been wor working very hard to combat the effects of recession. So they've been very innovative in terms of offers, promotions, exhibitions, marketing. 7.1 million visitors have come to York and they've actually spent £443 million. And of those visitors, 80% of them are repeat visitors. Regardless of the recession, the number of tourists has doubled over the last 10 years. Investment has continued in organisations such as the Jorvik Viking Centre and the city is in the running to get world heritage status. The city's natural attributes are only partially responsible for its continued success. Hard graft and a degree of imagination from those in the tourist industry is absolutely crucial. A perfect example of such resilience is the Yorkshire Museum which raised £2.1 million to fund refurbishments before their grand reopening last weekend on Yorkshire Day. A lot of uh, attractions and heritage places are going to have to be a bit more creative with the way they get their funding. And I think the Yorkshire Museum um, has been a perfect example of this, really. I mean, a lot of the project uh, has been about trying to minimise costs because £2 million is not a lot of money to refurbish a museum so we've done a lot of it in-house and um, we had a whole team of people doing jobs which probably not quite on their job descriptions but we've been doing it um, and it's been great. As the recession continues, long queues and bustling crowds suggest that tourism here is far from over. Thanks to the hard work and initiative of organisations like the Yorkshire Museum, this city remains a magnet for tourists despite the economic climate. This is Katrina White reporting for the Press Association.